Hello and welcome back to another movie. Within that movie I'm trying to show you a suspicious problem I have for my VW Golf Mark IV with the legendary sounding V5 engine. I bought that car about a year ago, it's in great shape. It has low case and attack, however there's a problem with the braking system. I scanned the control units actually um, the braking control unit and the engine control unit but th there's no fault in the memory however the car is equipped with the anti-skid system slip system and the electronic stability program when i turn on the ignition there should be three lights telling me exactly that the systems are built in and working in my case it's not the case the golf just doesn't have those lights working on the next picture you see actually the way it should look like when everything is built in, working properly. So since I know that my Golf has all those systems, um, uh, I was a little bit uh, curious about the reasons uh, and, and why, why they wouldn't come on. So I tested the system actually in the snow and they work as far as the anti-skid system and the slip system but the ESP doesn't work. I first recognized actually when I switched off the ESP while the engine is on it should be the ESP control light to, sh to pop up in the instrument class to tell you hey man you just switched off the ESP be careful. So that was also not the case. So we have different things uh, strange wise that are not the way they're supposed to be. My first uh, opinion uh, or thoughts were that the car has a major problem but the repair was too expensive so they actually got rid of those LEDs because I don't think three lights could be naturally broken. To figure out if that was really the case I would have to take out the whole instrument cluster, take it apart all the way down to the circuit board where the LEDs are soldiered on and this is exactly what we do now. Here you see the completely disassembled instrument cluster with the pointers and the dial. On the dial you can also see the three positions where the LEDs should shine through in case they need to tell you something. After positioning the dial over the circuit board, I was able to locate the position where the LED should be. So I could check the soldiering points for any damage. But as I said before, it's really unlikely that all the three ones were broken and just those three ones. After having a closer look to the circuit board, I was a bit shocked, but it is how it is. I saw straightforward that somebody mechanically took out the LEDs to get rid of the light. So the car has a major problem, but it doesn't show so. Well, it's just a braking system. In that movie, um, I just tried to show you the problem actually, why the lights don't come on. In the next movie, I give you a follow up, follow up about how to soldier the LEDs back in place and then eventually solving the problem of the car. Thanks for watching and see you soon.